day, everyone. Today, we will be learning more about research, which is one of the most feared topics nowadays. And to cast off that fear, let us give research a chance by knowing it better. So let us now begin with an introduction to research. Our lives are filled with so many questions. Apparently, the moment we open our eyes in the morning, we are already starting to ask various questions like, what time is it? What's for breakfast? Why did you not wake me up? Is it raining? Am I late? What day is it? Or do we have classes? So all this with all these questions posted, now the main concern is, why do we ask questions? Let us try answering this question. Basically, people ask questions because we would want to get an information. And next, we would also want to believe that knowledge is power. So whoever has the most knowledge is considered powerful. And also, we would want to know the truth. And of course, we would also want to be updated. All these are very important reasons why we continuously ask questions. So now we join the never-ending cycle of asking questions, then searching for answers. Thus, we have what we call research. We ask, then we research. We do research because we asked a question. personally welcome you to the research zone. The start of your research journey is here and I am hoping that you would enjoy every minute of it. Let's start off with the different definitions of research. First, it is searching for a theory, for testing a theory, or for solving a problem. It is to search again, to take another more careful look, to find out more, which is according to Celtis et al., 1976. Another definition was given by Leedy in 1974, explaining research as a systematic quest for undiscovered truth. According to Tuckman, it is a systematic attempt to provide answers to questions. After knowing the definitions of research, will it now be enough? Of course not. We still need to know more about it, like what is research all about? How will I know if it is research? Then, we need to identify its characteristics. Number one, research is logical and objective. What do we mean by these words? When you say logical, it means that it is with sense and reasoning. Objective, on the other hand, pertains to being fair and unbiased, meaning to say it is not influenced or affected by the researcher's personal emotions. Let us look at this example. This is comparing a researcher and a poet in terms of point of view. The poet used figures of speech and flowery words in defining a rainbow. However, a scientist used scientific words in defining it. This is how a researcher does his work. No cover-ups, no drama, just pure truth. Research is expert, systematic, and accurate investigation. Research 
is no joke. It is a serious matter, so it entails a crucial process that needs to be respected. Steps are followed by heart at all times. This will also lead to the success of the process. Investigations must also be done thoroughly. This will ensure that no mistakes will be done in the process. Research gathers new knowledge and data from primary and secondary sources. Since research is based on facts and not just hearsay, primary and secondary sources must always be considered to make it valid and reliable. What are the credible sources that we need in research? First, we have primary sources. Now, these sources include original materials such as letters, diaries, minutes, photographs, artifacts, interviews, and sound or video recordings created as a time or event is occurring. However, secondary sources, on the other hand, pertain to textbooks, edited works, books, and articles that interpret or review research works, histories, biographies, literary criticism and interpretation, or reviews of laws and legislation, political analysis, and commentaries. And to that, Research also endeavors to organize data in quantitative or measurable terms, if possible, and to express this data in numerical measures. Different methods are used in expressing data in research. The researcher's job is to make sure that these data are all correct and true. These data in the hand of the researchers Recording and reporting are now two vital aspects. Handling data must be done very carefully. The validity and reliability of the data must also be ensured. Last but not the least, research also requires courage. Many people may look at research as something to be feared, a dreaded field, as some would say, but we need to gather enough courage to face it and do it successfully. It may be difficult, but it is doable. All we need to do is start doing it. Like what Mary Ann Radmasher said, courage does not always roar. Sometimes courage is a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. This is basically true with research. After knowing some of the definitions of research, as well as its characteristics, it is also noteworthy to take note of the purpose of research. Why do we need to do research? Let us find out. First is for the quality of life to progress. One of the many goals of research is for people to have a more comfortable and livable life. Household chores can now easily be accomplished because of research. Various aspects of our lives have also changed because of research. Truly, our lives changed for the better because of all these things about research. Second is to provide solutions to problems. Researchers are noted to solve various problems, from illnesses to social issues, even domestic issues were alleviated by solutions that were provided by research. As they say, life has really changed a lot from the day the Earth was created. Scientific and technological advancement was brought about by thousands of research, giving us the comforts and ease of living. So now let us find out how important research is by knowing the many products it brought in our lives.
Do you still remember this? It may be a cartoon, but it states the truth. The discovery of fire may be an accident for some, but it was already the start of basic research. Basic necessities like water, food, clothing, and our houses, they are all products of research too. Health needs like medicines and vaccines were also discovered through research and we know about this during the pandemic. Our education was also a product of research. Our learning materials, the teachers' lesson plans, the lectures, the activities, everything. Technological gadgets that we now have, like cell phones, cameras, computers, they are all products of research too. Still imagine how life would be without the washing machine and the television? Well, thanks to research for these appliances that made life easier. Now, we also have buildings of different sizes and bridges that connect places that were once so far from one another. All these because of research. Not a fan of walking? Thanks to research, we now have all sorts of transportation in land, air, and water. Communication was also made easier because of research. Now we have telephones, cell phones, emails, and even social media. Life has truly changed a lot through research. So let us now take part by doing researches that will make our lives easier and happier. Thank you and happy research.